We've been using the same mill in the shop for the last eight years, and it does work, but there's a couple problems we have with it. So when Blickman came out with their pro line of mills, we had to check it out, and I'm super excited for it for a couple of reasons. First, let's talk about price point. This is a mill that works for a lot of small scale and medium sized actual breweries, as well as larger home breweries. And so if you're an avid home brewer who wants a really easy option for your mill setup at home, this could be an option for you. Or if you're a brewery of the size, maybe three barrels and under, this is a really good option. The price point for the Blickman Pro Mill with everything included comes around $1,200, but let's break that down and compare it to the mill that I've been using for the last eight years. The mill that we have been using came from Monster Brewing Hardware, and we bought it eight years ago, but at the time it was called the MM3 2.0 with hardened steel rollers. It has two inch rollers and independent drive. The mill itself costs about $450 with the hopper, but to make it work, we also needed a very powerful drill. The drill we bought cost about $150, so those two things together we're looking at in the range of $600 plus tax not including shipping or anything like that. To have a place to catch the grains, we also built this cabinet that costs us probably in the neighborhood of 80 bucks to buy and then some man hours to put together. So altogether, we're looking at about seven, $800 put into that mill. And let's talk about why it's not gonna work for us long-term. First of all, our old mill is independent drive. Uh, why is this an issue? This is an issue because if we have different grain sizes uh, or different grain moisture contents, it's actually very difficult for us to grab the grains as we're trying to start the mill. The mill we have also only has a 12 pound hopper, meaning if we have a 20 pound grain bill or a 50 pound grain bill or some of the grain bills that we make, which are 100 plus pounds, we have to constantly be loading that hopper to get all the grains milled. The mill we have is very difficult to set the gap on as well. Uh, if we want to set the gap, we have to unscrew some screws, loosen everything up, find the gap we like, tighten those screws all the way back down to the point that they are unmovable while milling, and then try and see if that crush looks good. Being a direct drive mill, it also needs a drill to operate. And a drill is not the most consistent thing to be operating your mill. And just having a drill on the side is also pretty inconvenient because you have to be operating two different things at once, kind of. Uh, it's just a little bit awkward. It totally gets the job done. We've been using it for eight, probably nine years now, and it gets the job done. But let's get this Blickman mill set up, and then I'll show you the differences that I like about this Blickman Pro Mill. So we got this guy set up, and if the dust around this is any indication, we have been running it through its paces. Let's talk about a couple things that I really like about this mill. Uh, first of all, it is quiet, like way quieter than another mill. It would scream at us. And if we had any sort of sound going on while we were next to that mill, it just wasn't gonna work. So this one. It's not silent, but it is quiet. Um, it's also got a reverse setting. So if it's ever struggling to get grain through there, you can always reverse back out and then see if you can take another run at it. And uh, if you have to adjust things, you can also adjust on the fly because it has, on the other side there, uh, a simple mechanism for adjusting the gap. So adjusting the gap is way easier than something like my previous mill where I had to unscrew the um, tightening bits on it, then adjust it, and then tighten them back up. So all that makes this way easier to use. Now the one thing that I would say that this mill uh, doesn't have that our other cabinet setup had was a way to contain the grain dust. And so you can see we've got kind of grain dust all around here and I haven't quite figured out a way to mitigate that yet. Besides the cabinet that contained grain dust a little bit better than this does, this is a 100% upgrade from our previous mill. Honestly, I think this is probably an ideal mill in the price range for a homebrew supply store or a small scale, let's say three, maybe even five barrel and under brewery. Uh, it works incredibly well. Uh, I know that our employees really liked not having to mess with an independent roller and a dependent roller. Um, the previous one sometimes would catch. This one just runs all the grains right through. To quickly kind of summarize the upgrades that this has, first of all, giant hopper. Uh, an entire bag of grain can fit in this, whereas the other one can only hold about 12 pounds of grain. The geared mill makes it so that each roller is independent. They're always gonna be spinning, which means it's always gonna be grabbing some level of grain. Um, you can adjust the gap on the fly. Meaning if you want finer crush, you can get finer crush. If you want coarser crush, you can get coarser crush. If you've got a grain that doesn't necessarily like to go through on a tighter gap, you can adjust that on the fly. It's super, super quiet. Also got a reverse setting. So if something gets stuck, you can reverse it back out and try to adjust the gap on the fly. It's got a little bit of a separator here to make it so that you don't get your hands caught. And it also uh, makes the grain go down at a more even pace. And that summarizes the Blickman Pro Mill uh, thanks so much Flickman for sending us. If you guys like supporting a company that supports a lot of us homebrewing YouTubers, uh, Blickman has done an amazing job and it's not just me. I know Short Circuit Brewer, uh, Homebrew for Life, uh, Blickman's done an awesome job of supporting all the people out there that are putting out content, trying to help you homebrewers out. And so if you wanna support that kind of a company, please buy from Blickman. Uh, you all know we've supported their Anvil Foundry before. 
Uh, pretty much everything they put out is top quality for a fantastic price. Um, so thanks so much, Blickman, again, for sending us this promo. If you want more content like this, if you want some reviews, let us know. Uh, and any other suggestions you have, uh, leave them in the comments below. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe to our second channel, Genus Not Brewing. We're still not at 1,000 subscribers yet. We will be by the time this is uploaded. I don't know, maybe. It's going to be close. Just do it, though, okay? I love you all. Well, not you, but the everybody else. Okay, bye. Nailed it.